how are you going to run the pipe? That is the question here. How? How are you going to start? Hello, wonderful people. You are especially welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, this is Electric Edge, and my name still remains Anams. If you like what we are doing here, kindly smash that like, share, and subscribe for more interesting videos like this on the way. In Electric Age, we are especially concerned about the safety of every user of electric or electric system. A little knowledge about the hazards and how to completely avoid them is going to help you. So, if you are an upcoming electrician, our learning videos are especially for you. Today, we are starting with a series on the basics of house conduit piping, which is the backbone, the foundation of electrical installations in every building. So, before you pick your tools and start rushing to the site, you want to start piping a house, what are the things that you need to do? You need to prepare your materials, you need to firstly go to the site and check the things that will be installed in the house, you need to make estimation, know the materials, make estimation of the needed materials, the quality of the materials needed, and the quantity. Then, the next two things you need to do is to get your materials, get your materials, and lastly, get your working drawing. So before I take you to the working drawing and give you the explanation that you need, Take your paper and your pen. Let's go there. Starting with this simple one. This one is for a self con building. Now, this building, if you look at this building, I'm going to explain the building, the drawing first before I start my piping explanation. Now, when you take up this, this drawing here, this drawing here is the sit out or the entrance to the house. This is the room. Here is the room. This is the bed in the room. This is the fan. This one is the fan. This one is the bed. Here is the socket. One socket, two sockets. Here is another socket. Here is one, two sockets. Now, here is another socket at the seat out. And another socket here. So let's put our DB here. We are using a single phase four way DB. Since we don't have AC, we don't have water heater here. So here is our kitchen. Here is our kitchen. Here is the lighting point for the kitchen. Here is the bathroom. The lighting point for the bathroom. So our switch will have one switch here for the for the security lights, another one for the room here we have the switch for the kitchen this is the kitchen sink here is one socket as we will have one socket at the kitchen now we have the bathroom switch here you know it's outside it can be inside now this is the wash hand basin this is our wash hand basin this is the light for the bathroom. This is the um, this is WC. This one is the shower. That is the shower rose. So now there should be security light here. This security light. This is another security light here. This is security light. So let's get started. Here is our DB. have four openings one two three four for the four circuits and four circuit breakers but we're not installing the circuit breakers immediately because we're only starting with the piping now you go to the place you must have marked everything or before then when your materials arrive you should prepare a working drawing now whether the building plan provided electrical 
drawing for you or not. You firstly have to go through the building drawing, the, the electrical drawing, go through them, check what you see there, check everything in the, in the building plan, discuss with the owner of the house about what and what should be installed in the house, considering some of the electrical gadgets that will be put or used in that house before you start. So when you start this building, when you start the piping, how are you going to run the pipe? That is the question here. How? How are you going to start? If you are a beginner, an electrician that is just starting, or you are into the system, you will know that your piping will start from the DB. Or sometimes we finish the piping with our calculation and bring the, the pipes to the DB unit. Some people can run theirs without the DB and at, uh, later they put the DB. But it's advisable to put the DB as you are running the pipe for the rooms and other places. You also put your DB. Now let's start from the switches. This switch is going to take care of the room and already we have two lighting points in this room. So we're going to use a box here. We're going to put a four-way box here. One, two, three, four. This four-way box will take care of the circuit, the lighting circuit in this particular room. How? How? Okay, let me show you. Now, this is the switch. This switch, this switch, if you connect this switch here, connect one light here, one lighting point here, connect the other, it will not be enough. I mean, the four-way, one leg should go to either this switch or this switch to supply mess. Now, if you take one leg to this one, this one will connect this, it will remain three. One leg will come here, one leg will come here, one leg will come here. The DB, the supply will no longer reach there. So, one of the alternatives is that you take one leg of this to the switch. This switch will now have two pipes. Now, one of the pipes will connect here. This will go there, this will go there, this will go to supply mains. Or, or you take this DB, one leg, to this four-way box. The four-way box will now take this to the switch. One leg will come here. One leg will go there and return to this point. These are the three options you have. So let's just pick one. So now we are taking this one leg. We are taking this one leg to the switch. From the switch, we locate the four-way box. From this, we take to this lighting point. From here, we take to that lighting point. From here, we take to the kitchen. I hope you are following. Now, from the kitchen, you can locate this. You can locate from the kitchen, you can locate this and locate this and come back to this switch. Or, if you like, there are about three options. You can take this leg to this point and return to this switch. Then, you connect and locate this with your piping. You locate the bathroom. From this bathroom lighting point, you locate your switch. That's all for that circuit. Now we're going to take a look at the second circuit that will take care of the security light as well as the sit out. The, the DB is here. We're going to take another leg of the DB. From here, we locate this light. It should be security light here. The sit out. Now we locate this second security light. Third. And this is the final. So now we are through with the first circuit and about to finish the second circuit. But I expect someone to ask a question. The question is, why, where is the switch for the security light? Yes, the switch for the security light is here. 
So all we need to do next is to connect this switch to this. And remember, this switch is going to be two guns. So that one gun will control the sit out lighting point, then the other gun will control the other lighting points in the piping. Now, what is remaining? The next thing that we need to look at is the socket. We still have two provisions here. Now, our socket, we have one socket here. We have one socket at the seat out here. We have two in the room. This is one. This is another one. Kitchen, we have one. So we have one, two, three, four sockets. So these four sockets can be taken care of by one circuit. So this circuit will now run from here. Either you want to make sure of the top or bottom of the DB. So come here, the first socket is taken care of. Now from the second socket, we'll take care of the we'll take care of the second socket from the first socket. And from this one, we can take care of the kitchen socket. From there, we complete here in the room. So if you did not understand this drawing, just take your time and watch it over and over again. We are starting this series with this particular piping of a CEFCOM. And if you have questions, you can drop your comments at the comment section below. I will attend to all your comments and I will answer all your questions that may bother you based on this. And any other thing that is remaining will continue in our next upload. If you are still waiting, you've not subscribed at this point, please, you can like this video, share it, and subscribe for more tips. Thank you and remain blessed.